with the next LDS version, CloudSec will add a number of new enhancements for VMware hypervisor with respect to VM and volume migrations. A part of that will be system VM migration across clusters. That is, system VMs including VRs can be migrated between hosts and storages of clusters belonging to the same pod. Let's see our demo for the same. A system VM migration is an admin only feature I will log in as root admin. I will go to infrastructure section. I have two clusters in my environment. Both are VMware clusters P1 and P1C1 and P1C2. If I go into host section, there are three hosts, two in cluster P1C1 and one in cluster P1C2. For primary storages, I have two cluster wide primary storages P1, PS1 and PS2. One in each cluster. Let's go into virtual router section. I have a VR running. It is running on host 10.035.123. Let me go into VR details. If I go into host section now, it shows that it is in cluster P1C1. With new changes, I should be able to migrate this VR. In a host on a host for cluster P1C2. As earlier, I get this option for migrate router, which will open a migration wizard form. I get all the available hosts listed here with different details suitability, CPU utilized, memory allocated. It shows me cluster and pod for the host and also shows me storage migration required. Which is, which is denoting that whether volume should, needs to be migrated to a different primary storage. Since first host is in same cluster P1C1, storage migration is not required. While second host is in cluster P1C2, storage migration is required. So if I should, uh, if I select second host, I should be able to migrate my VR into cluster P1C2. Let's try that. Migration is in progress. If I refresh details now, it shows as migrating. It will take some time. Migration is completed now. So if I go into host section, it shows me host 10035144. If I go into host details, it should show me cluster P1C2. So I have successfully migrated my VR to a different cluster. Same applies for system VMs as well. If I go into details of my console proxy V3 VM, I get the same option that is migrate system VM. It shows me similar form and I can migrate it to different uh, host belonging to different cluster as my VR is running on host belonging to cluster P1C2 it shows me both hosts for cluster P1C1 with the new changes I will also be able to migrate my stopped system VM including VRs to different primary storages that belong to different clusters of same pod so Let's try that as well. I have this VR. I need to stop it for storage migration. Let me stop it. VR is, is, is stopping. VR has been stopped. It is in a stopped state now. Uh, since I last migrated my VR to cluster P1C2, I should be able to migrate it to a primary storage belonging to cluster P1C1. From my primary storage, I already know. For P1C1, I have primary storage PS1. So let's go back to VR.
I get get this option migrate system VM to another primary storage. On clicking it, I am being shown all the primary storages. Here I can select primary storage PS1 and it should get migrated to cluster P1 C1 again. Migration is in progress. If I refresh it is it shows migrating in status. Migration is complete now. Router is still in stopped state. So once I start it, it should start in cluster P1C1. So let me start it. VR start is in progress. I will refresh the detail. It shows as starting. It already shows me host on which this VR will be started. If I go into host details, it is in cluster P1C1. So this shows my stopped VR was successfully migrated to primary storage that belongs to cluster P1C1. Let's go back to VR. It is running now and it is in host it is on host 10035123 which is in cluster p1c1 so this is how with next lts cloudstack will allow operators to uh, perform migration operations on vms and uh, system vms uh, for different clusters and host and primary storage is of different cluster. This will allow operators to perform maintenance activity on a particular cluster at a time. So this must be a really helpful feature for them. Thank you for watching.